what about this? It's the Yara Viking, the largest moving man-made object on the planet. Stood on its end, it would be 50 feet taller than the Empire State Building. Its holds are big enough to swallow St. Paul's Cathedral four times over. And to ward off bad weather, they fitted a hideous gargoyle on the bow. was a great plan. Work to treat. But then, what do you expect? I mean, we are going round the Cape of Good Hope, just off the tip of Southern Africa, right in the middle of winter. I hope this thing's got a big engine. Oh, good. It has. That's wrong, and that should be lit, I'm sure of it. That's the gearbox! Boiler! Another boiler! revolutions a minute, but it's 30 feet in diameter, so the engine has to be colossal. All the numbers in this ship just boggle the mind, including the temperature down here. But strangely, it only has two lifeboats. Amazingly, that's all it needs, because this half-million-ton giant is run by a crew of just 35. And to the consternation of various coastal seabirds, most of them, including the captain, learn to drive in India. I've been to Bombay and the standard of driving there is shabby. So... <laughs> but we are not on the roads, we are at sea. Is that safer then? It's much safer and we are most qualified individuals. We are professionals. Professionals, right, yeah. Um, how fast does the ship go? When fair weather, she could do as much as 16, 16 and a half knots. Does the weather affect it? Oh, very much. Uh, if you have adverse weather, she comes on quite a bit. Now, we hear a lot of stories about how long it takes to stop one of these things. Uh, around uh, 8,000 uh, meters, about five and a half miles. Five and a half miles Yeah, to from it. full head to stop. And what about the turning circle? Turning circle, now this, uh, these factors depend on what sort of weather condition. You see, normally in fair weather, she might turn within two, two miles. Oh, you could do it in two miles? Yeah. Oh, positively sprightly. <laughs> 